My dad was in the Air Force, and so we lived all over the country. Texas was a pretty neat place, and I think we all said this is where we want to be. But he was reassigned to Craig Air Force Base in Alabama when I was 13, and so that's where I lived until it's time to go to college. The life of a military school seemed pretty cool. The military was an honorable profession, it was important, uh, and going to a school like Texas A&M seemed like it was going to be a challenge, but it would be exciting and probably some fun too. Well, I guess what my first impression though is, you know, we're all a bunch of sweaty fish. It's the hottest part of September when we get there. And that evening, our CEO, Bill Hayes, did the boot walk. And as he walked up and down, he told us, you know, all the traditions of A&M and that how we take care of each other as our buddies. and. It made such an impression on me. I just thought, God, he is so poised, so intelligent, so wise, so cool. I said, you know, I'd just give anything to be like that someday. And probably what I didn't realize at that time is, you know, Bill Hayes was probably just like us when he started as a freshman, and maybe he was born that way, but probably he was formed that way by the Corps. I was always going to be a pilot. I had a commission to be a pilot, and I got to ROTC summer camp, and they give you a very intense, very intense physical. And they told me my eyes weren't good enough to be a pilot. I was going to have to be a navigator. I decided at that point, if I couldn't lead men in, in combat, and if I couldn't fly a jet, I just had to do something else in a professional line, and so I decided, let me try to be a JAG officer. During his time at Texas A&M, Mr. Richard Cardi's class of 1967 was commanding officer of Squadron 8, a Ross volunteer, a distinguished student, and a distinguished military graduate. He received a degree in government from Texas A&M and in 1970 graduated from the University of Texas School of Law. He served as a JAG officer in the United States Air Force from 1970 to 1976, and he's licensed to practice law in Texas and Alabama, as well as the U.S. Military Court of Appeals and the United States Supreme Court. Since 1980, Cardis has been at Frost Bank in San Antonio as the manager of Frost Wealth Advisors. He is a past chairman of the Texas Bankers Association Trust Financial Services Division, a certified trust financial advisor, and a certified wealth strategist. He was named the 2015 Aggie Lawyer of the Year by the Texas Aggie Bar Association. Cardis served as chairman of the board of the Association of Former Students in 2005 and chairman of the board of the Texas A&M Foundation in 2012. I really found that many of the values that I learned in the Corps uh, translated well to a business environment. To me, the Aggie spirit just takes all those things in. And yes, it's, it's about cheering loudly at football games, but it's a profound love for A&M and what it means to this country. Aggies treat others with dignity and respect because everyone is significant. Ladies and gentlemen, inducted into the Corps of Cadets Hall of Honor, Mr. Richard Cardis, Class of 1967.